so I am here at Carolina Rebellion with Rob from Full Beat. How are you? I'm great. Well, thank you again for joining me. Fill me in what's been going on, God. The last time was Philadelphia, Man Center. Yeah, you know, we <laughs> we haven't stopped since the last time I saw you. Yeah, we've just been touring like crazy, you know, and it, it feels really good. We're uh, coming down the home stretch on our U.S. tour right now, and... Um, yeah, it's just it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be cool to have a couple couple weeks off for our European track. So I was gonna say I see some dates in Italy coming up this summer. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a bunch of European stuff happening, a lot of festivals and and that sort of thing. So, are you guys working on any new material at all? We're flirting around with some new ideas here and there. Uh, we've been trying out some different things at Soundcheck, but we're you know we're we're very much in touring mode right now. We're very focused on that, and uh, probably by the end of the year, you know, beginning of next year, we'll start really thinking about the creative stuff and what. Is there anything you could tease us with with the direction of anything new? We've been. Ooh, I mean, we're not going to do it tonight, but you know, at our at our, uh, at our headline shows, we've been uh, playing some riffs, some new ideas live, and uh, it seems to be going over great. You know? Absolutely. I mean, I think the live elements of the band is absolutely fantastic, and I think that the album carries over that live feel too. Was that a conscious effort? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was one of my main goals as a as a producer on on this record was to capture the band's magic. You know, what what happens live on stage. You know, so. <laughs> For you ever to switch hats between producing and performing, it's it got to be a different animal a little bit, but it's still music. <laughs> yeah, for me, I've been blurring that line for a long time, you know, uh, so I'm very much used to it. You know, as a record producer, you know, over the years, it's like that job means so many different things, and every record is so different. So, um, you know, but lately I've been I've been producing a lot of records, just bands that I'm actually in. So it's kind of like I'm used to it at this point. You know, from Anthrax to the Damn Things to now Volbeat. You know, um, so yeah, I don't know. It's all making making noise to me, basically. So obviously you've witnessed a ton of changes within the music industry over the years. Which one would you say has had the biggest effect on you? Say, say that first part again, I didn't hear you. Um, with all the changes in the music industry, I mean, which one has had the biggest effect on you? Wow. Uh, oh, I just answered this question a few minutes ago over there, but, you know, obviously the biggest thing that, ha that happened to the music industry that changed things dramatically is the internet, obviously, you know? Um, and that affected, uh, you know, every artist, every musician out there. And, you know, these days it's actually really, really difficult for... Uh, for a young band, a new band, to come up and, and, and you know make an impact just because of the way things are set up. I think it's changing though. It's, it feels like it's changing for the better. Um, and uh, you know, it might it might actually go back to the way things used to be a very long time ago when this, when the music business was just starting. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, one of the things too, I feel like artist development is just a thing of the past right now, and that that needs to change. You know, because we wouldn't have. I feel like the support isn't there like it used to be. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, if it, if things were years ago the way they are now, we wouldn't have artists like Bruce Springsteen or Prince or, or Rush or you know, it's like it's it's crazy. That needs to change big time, in my opinion. What steps do you think we're taking to remedy that? I don't know. I just think the whole uh, you know the whole record label world is changing. You know, rapidly. So, uh, you know, I don't think anyone really knows where things are going to end up, but um, I think their mentality is slowly but surely changing. You know? So. Yeah, it, it feels like that to me. Like what I find refreshing about Volbeat as a as a band is that it was something new and different to come out in rock, and I feel like fans have really embraced that. I hate genres, I hate for artists to feel boxed in one thing, and I think that, you know, something new and different is definitely refreshing. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. I mean, I, I think, especially in the world of heavy music, there's so many genres and subgenres. it's, it's to me, You can't even keep track. It's just stupid to me. I, I exactly, how could you keep track of it? It doesn't make any sense. Well, then, like, one fan of one thing isn't allowed to be a fan of another thing, and it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. So, I mean, which one of um, Volbeat's songs resonates the most to you personally? Wow. I don't know. I mean, I have I have a lot of fun playing all the stuff in the set. So, 
Um, Mirror and the Ripper is one of my favorite tunes to play live. Doc Holliday uh, is killer. Um, Hangman's Body Count. It's my favorite. <laughs> and Still Counting. I love playing Still Counting as well. It's just, I mean, it's just a fun, it's fun music to play. So, you know, I connect with all the songs. I'm so happy the band hasn't forgot the art of the music video either. I mean, Lonesome Rocker just came out not too long ago, video for that. So, it's awesome. I like that visual element sometimes. Yeah, we just wanted to do it. <laughs> it was kind of a challenge to to uh, see if they could pull off doing a video without the band members in it. You know? It worked. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> Great. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking a few minutes to speak with me. I'm sure we'll see you guys out at Rock on the Range in a couple weeks, too. So We're not. Actually, we're not doing it. Oh, yeah. damn. Not this year. Damn. Okay. Well, cut that <laughs> so I don't sound stupid. <laughs> Great. So what's the rest of the summer look like other than that? Uh, the rest, we're going to be, yeah, you know, like I said, we finished this tour, I think, on the 10th. Then we're home for a few weeks. Um, I'm actually uh, producing the comedian Jim Brewer's new album. Oh, awesome. I'm excited about that. i got to do some work on that when I get back home. And um, then we go back to Europe, you know. So the summer is going to be very much Europe-based. Great. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.